So we have uh, different levels of total, subtotals that can go into the costing sheet so that you can analyze it from a different, you know, turn it on its side, look at it sideways, look at it up, look at it down. And then our cost groups are really, really important when we start looking at some of the out of the box Power BI reports um, that really allow us to um, call different kinds of costings uh, real names, interesting names um, that make that may be a little more meaningful. And then I have um, surcharges and or rates that can be applied to a costing sheet. Um, surcharges are typically a percentage. A rate is a flat rate. Every time I make this item, I'm charging it 10 bucks because that is a royalty I need to pay the people that we're leasing that design from, for instance. Um, and I can set up rates to be time or uh, total time, production time, production quantity based. Um, and then I can have different cost versions. So then I can have a look at this year versus last year, this month versus last month. And then how am I gonna post my costs? Where are they gonna go from a general ledger uh, point of view? And how detailed am I gonna get down the tree? 